In SOLIDWORKS, we have the ability to create and work with large and complex assemblies. With capabilities like Enhanced Graphics Mode, which puts the workload of generating real-time graphics on the graphics card, the GPU, we can manipulate even fully resolved assemblies very smoothly. Sometimes, though, when we're working with very large assemblies, we can still run into long open times and sluggish response times. And this can be bothersome, especially when we just need to open the assembly for basic review or simple manipulation within the assembly. Well, as you may know, we have an alternative opening mode for assemblies called Large Design Review, or LDR. And LDR instantly yields enormous improvements in opening time and performance. This is because Large Design Review loads only the graphics data for the assembly. When you open large assemblies, you may notice that it opens in stages. It has to load all the components from the reference file locations, update the model data in the assembly against the component and subassembly files, and recalculate the graphics data, the on-screen information that allows us to view and interact with the model. Well, LDR bypasses all of that, basically, and goes straight to the graphics data that we created the last time that we saved the assembly. LDR is a powerful tool for basic assembly investigation, for doing things like measuring, sectioning, creating walkthroughs, or even inserting new components and mating them in place. But because LDR is opening only the graphics data that was created the last time we had the assembly fully resolved, we run into some limitations, namely configurations and display states. When we look at the Configurations tab in the Feature Manager while in LDR mode, we get a message saying that configuration information is unavailable in LDR. But we can make configurations available by adding a display data mark to the configurations we want to see. Let's see what that looks like. As we can see in the resolved assembly, the conveyor line has multiple configurations. And this configuration has two display states, one with the standard colors and another with an alternative color scheme. As we were instructed by the notification in LDR, we can make these configurations available in Large Design Review by adding the display data mark to each configuration. We can add them individually by right-clicking each configuration and selecting Display Data Mark. And we'll notice there's a new icon to indicate that it has display data. Or we can add display data to all configurations by right-clicking the top level of the Configuration Manager and adding display data from there. Do be aware that adding display data marks increases the file size as the display data for each configuration is saved internally to be accessible in LDR. Now when we open the assembly in LDR, we can see the configurations that we marked for display data. But again, we don't have access to display states in LDR, so the alternative color scheme is not available. And LDR restricts access to appearance libraries, so we can't change any appearances while LDR is active. A quick and easy workaround is to create a derived configuration of the configuration that had the alternative display state, and copy the alternate display state into the derived configuration. Just right-click and copy the display state from the original configuration, or use Control-C, and Control-V paste into the derived configuration. Now we can add a display data mark to the derived configuration and see the alternative color scheme in Large Design Review.